What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Nash here. Welcome back to the channel. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, before we get started with this week's episode of Yu Gi Oh!'s Biggest Issue, the road to 200 subs has now come to a close, and we're now on the road to 500 subs. Who knows? Maybe we might hit 500 subs by the end of the summer. Only time will tell. But as I have said in previous videos, if this channel does get to 500 subs, I will open up this Korean LOB booster box in its entirety on the channel that I got from my partners at a collector store. <clears throat> so be sure to check them out. Link and address will be in the description below. By checking them out, not only does it support them, it also supports the channel and I would greatly appreciate it. On the hopes to potentially pull a Blue Eyes White Dragon, a Dark Magician, a Red Eyes Black Dragon, a piece of Exodia, Monster Reborn, Pot of Greed, the possibilities are out there. However, if this channel gets to a thousand subs, I will open up this first edition Toon Chaos box in its entirety on the channel. <clears throat> Excuse me, that I also got from my par partners at Collector Store on the hopes to potentially pull a Collector's Rare out of the set. But it wouldn't be the first time that I pulled a Collector's Rare because I also pulled this. Freshly pulled out of my Genesis Impact box opening that I did last year. It is a Collector's Rare B Cup from the Underworld. This thing is absolutely beautiful, you guys. The centering on the back is a bit off from top to bottom, but honestly, it really doesn't make much of a damn because I am going to be getting this card graded. But... I never came up with a good opportunity to do so. <clears throat> so, with that being said, with that being said, if you guys if you guys want to see those boxes get opened, maybe you guys want more episodes of WWE's biggest issue. Maybe you guys want more episodes of Yu-Gi-Oh's biggest issue, deck profiles, card discussions, WWE topic videos, or maybe just maybe. You guys want some premium live event predictions and results. Well, if you guys want all of that and more, my channel is the place to be. So if you guys are new to the channel, because I know that a lot of you guys are, because more than 80% of you guys are watching the content, but you guys aren't even, aren't e even subscribed. So if you guys are watching the, con the content, and you like the content, and you want more of, of more of the content, and you're new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, smash that thumbs up button on this video, and as always, make sure you guys are following me on all of my social media. My ads will be in the description below, as will the info to my fan mail. It will also be in the description as well. And I want you guys to post in the comments below answering the question of the day, which sort of ties with, with, with this week's episode. But the question of the day is this. What are your guys' thoughts on the Quarter Century Chronicles side Unity and side Pride sets? And will you guys be getting your hands on a box or two of those sets? Let me know down <clears throat> in the comments below. And for, and, and for, and for this week's episode that is exactly what we are going to be talking about because konami has just revealed some more reprints some more some more reprints for both for both the unity and pride sets of the quarter century chronicle honestly looking at the at at the at the unity um uh reprint I can guarantee I, I can guarantee you that it's going to be rather interesting to see if we're ever, if we're going to see see so, something like this in the TCG because I know that that the that the alternate arts of Dark Magician, Blue Eyes White Dragon, Red Eyes Black Dragon, and um and Dark Magician Girl that's in the Pride set um are all will all eventually get get printed in in the in the TCG at some point like I could possibly see it 
like come up come up in 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 this year's mega tents which is possible <clears throat> which is possible which is very actually it's very possible if you if you look at the tents from last year you saw that we had quarter century see we had like a first hand look if you will of the quarter century seeker rares and the and Honestly, honestly, the QCRs actually look pretty good. Aside, aside from their value, they actually look pretty good. So, so again, it's possible that, that we'll, we'll be seeing those four cards at some point this year. Could be next year for all, for all we know. But as far as, as far as the boxes themselves, it's possible that it's possible that Konami could release them in the in the. In the TCG, the only problem is that is that is that there there's a few cards in both sets that that are already on on the current TCG forbidden and limited list, which in which for those cards they would have to be replaced with something else. Like I think if I remember correctly, if I remember correctly, I believe the Unity side has actually quite a few a few banned cards if I if I remember correctly um just looking here to see what we got yeah I think there's been actually a few cards that got banned I think wisdom eye is one of the cards that that's banned banned in the OCG um Double Iris, I I I, th I think was another one that got banned. Um, and I think Yeah, I think those are just some of the cards that got that got banned. So for so for those cards they would have to get um they would have to be be replaced with something else, and for those who are curious, the 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 Chronicle Side Unity set will be will will be released in in Japan February twenty third. So right, so it'll be almost like right around this time next month, and then the and then the Pride set will be released. March 23rd. So so this will be in interesting to see. It'll be in, in interesting to see if uh how both these sets will shape the meta in the OCG cuz I know that 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 there were quite there were a pretty good a good amount of cards that um excuse me that that a lot of people couldn't get their hands on because of of the value. So these types of sets are are perfect for those who who are who are who are missing quite quite a few cards. They'll be able to get get their hands on on whatever card cards they're missing really easily, which is pretty cool. Um, so it'll be it'll be very interesting to say the very least. But but anyway, let's continue. So for the so. So for the quarter century chronicle side unity set for for the other reprints that have been officially been been released. We have Ubel, the Ultimate Nightmare. We have Ray Raptor Arsenal Falcon. Aro Aroma Seraphi Jasmine. Ubel, Ubel Terror Incarnate, Super Poly, Ray Raptor, Vanishing Lan Lanius, Mimicry Lanius. Tribulant Lanius, Pain Lanius, Strangle Lanius, Four Strix, Ultimate Falcon, Y Strix, and Raid Raptor Nest. Which Raid Raptor Nest is actually a pretty cracked card. I think that's the card that gives you um <clears throat> that that gives you multiple bodies on board, which is pretty cool. Which is pretty pretty fucking awesome to say the very least. Um <laughs> okay, okay. Um 
Sorry guys, I'm I'm, I'm actually on 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 uh, YouTube Studio on, on on my iPhone. Um, before we even continue, I actually want to give give a shout out to Polly Positivity, um, who saw who saw my video from yesterday, and he commented, and 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 he commented saying saying man 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 it sucks that Raw is coming to Netflix in 2025. This is terrible. I don't, I, again, it's, 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 it, it's like I said, said yesterday in that video, it'll be interesting to see where, where the ratings will go, I'll say, but, but do I agree? Do I disagree? Who knows? But I will say this, it will, again, it will be very, very interesting to say the very least, and, um. We'll just have to see what happens. But moving on, <clears throat> but moving on, we, moving on, um, um, we have Aroma Seraphi, Angelica, Laurel, Rose, um, we have Aroma Laurel, Aroma, Aroma Seraphi, Rosemary, Aroma Seraphi, Sweet Marjoram, Humid Winds, and Blessed Winds. Those are all the reprints that we know of right right now <clears throat> in um in the unity side the pride side we have we have the we have the l o b artwork of 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 Rez, Rez black dragon or i guess secondly the starter deck joey version if you will um number thirty eight hope harbinger dragon titanic galaxy which is an excellent reprint uh Boral Lend Dragon which is another really weird reprint <clears throat> cuz it has to be be with rockets specifically but it's still a, still a pretty good reprint nonetheless uh for, for the red eyes reprints you've got you've got Red MD the Black Stone Legend Black Metal Dragon Red Eyes Soul Red Eyes Black Meteor Dragon Meteor Black Comet Dragon Red Eyes Fusion Red Eyes Insight and Red Eyes Spirit then of course you've got the Cyber Dragon reprints, which include, <clears throat> excuse me, which include Cyber Dragon, Cyber Dragon Core, Cyber Dragon Hertz, Cyber Dragon Noster, Cyber Dark Chimera, uh, Cyber Twin Dragon, Cyber End Dragon, uh, Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon, Rampage Dragon, Mega Fleet Dragon, Cyber Dragon Nova, Infinity Seeger, um. Uh, Liminar Removal, which is a bit of a weird reprint, but I mean it's been reprinted far, you know, so many times o over the years. What's what's another one, right? Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, uh, Power Bond, Overload Fusion, Cyber Emergency, Cyber Repair Plan, Cyber Dark Realm, and ev Evolution and Burst. Then of course we got the Tech Genus reprint. So we have Striker, War Wolf. <clears throat> Excuse me, War Wolf, War Wolf, Screw Serpent. That's what she said. Anyway, anyway, Boost Raptor, Tank Larva, Gear Zombie, Recipro Dragonfly, Wonder Magician, Blade Blaster, Halberd Cannon, Hyper Librarian, Star Guardian, Shooting Star Dragon, Tech Genius Expansion, and Trident Launcher. Then of course got. And, and then of course Galaxy Eyes slash Photon is getting new is getting are getting reprinted as well, including Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon, Galaxy Wizard, Galaxy Soldier, Galaxy Summoner, Photon Vanisher, oh. excuse me, Photon Orbital, Photon Emperor, Photon Jumper, <clears throat> which I don't think I've ever seen that card before. Give me a second. Let's see. Photon Jumper. I don't think I've ever seen that card ever in my career. Let's see. Let's see what this card does. Let's see. 
doesn't say anything on Yugi on, on the Yu-Gi-Oh Wiki website. Give me a second. Photon Jumper. Four-star Light Warrior with zero attack and defense. And nothing else. Okay, so I'm going to try something else. Here we are. Yugipedia. Let's see. Um, oh, so, oh, so I guess this must have been a new one? Yeah, I, yeah, I think, I think, I think this must have been, been, been a new card, because it says here that it's been, that it was released in Battles of Legend Monster's Revenge, so, so, so it's relatively new. So I did, so I think I did talk about this card. Uh, when opponent's monster declares an attack, you can activate this effect, skip your next battle phase, Special summon, also special special summon this card from your hand, then end this battle phase. If this card is sent sent to the grave, you can add one photon or galaxy spell, spell trap from from your from from deck to hand. Then I'll use each effect once per turn. Oh, okay, okay. okay so basically, so basically, it's a battle. It, it's a cyber dragon. It's it's a cyber dragon negate negate attack. Uh, Rota basically. So. That's actually pre pretty cracked. I'm gonna have to try tr try that out. Tr try that out with my Galaxy Eyes deck, which desperately needs to be updated. Um, let's see. Um, moving on. Moving on. Uh, number sixty-two, Galaxy Eyes Prime Photon Dragon. Chaos number sixty-two, Neo Galaxy Eyes Prime Photon Dragon. Number ninety, Galaxy Eyes Photon Lord. Starleaf Photon Blast Dragon. Uh, Galaxy Photon Dragon, Photon Sa Photon Sanctuary, Galaxy Expedition, Galaxy Trance, Galaxy Hundred, Eternal Galaxy, and then DDs are getting are getting reprinted, including including Swirl Slime, Necro Slime, Lamia, Ghost, Savant Kepler, Obli Oblivion King Abyss Ragnarok, Savant Copernicus, Orthros, Vice King Requiem. Griffin, Flame King Genghis, Oracle King Dark, Wave Oblivion King Caesar Ragnarok, Flame High King Gen Genghis, Curse King S uh, Siegfried, Wave King Caesar, Marksman King Tell, Dark Contract with with the Gate, um, Abyss King Gil Gilgamesh, Divisor King Deus Machinex, Dark Contract with the Swamp King, Forbidden Dark Contract with the Swamp King, and Triple D. Headhunt, and then rockets are getting reprinted as well, including Magna Rocket Dragon, Rocket Synchron, Silver Rocket Dragon, Rocket Tracer, Rocket Tr uh, Recharger, uh, Rocket Caliber, Absol Router Dragon, Noctivision Dragon, Booster Dragon, Dillingerous Dragon, Quad Boral Dragon, Borlo Dragon, Boral Sword Dragon, Quick Launch, Boot Sector Launch, and Boral Regenerator. So those are all all of the cards that are being reprinted in both those sets as of right now. Obviously, 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 there'll there'll be more cards to be to be named over, over time. But my thoughts on 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 these sets, they're they're a great way for for players to get to get their hands on cards that were, that were already expensive enough, and honestly. Honestly, these are really good sets. But as far as when we can expect these sets to be released in the TCG, I highly doubt it because of the fact that because of the fact that more than like more than like 97% of of the cards that are being they're that they're being put in these sets, we already have we already have them and some of them have been reprinted more times than I give a fuck to count, which which not only which not only only lowers their value, but it make but but by lowering the value, it makes it easier for players to to get their hands on on those cards. Like when you look at Blue Eyes White Dragon, 
no matter how how many times it gets reprinted, it's still gonna be like it's still gonna be like a five dollar, ten dollar like card. No matter no matter how you see it. Where as opposed to some of the older variants of of, of blue eyes, you know, you, you know, you look at the DDS blue eyes. That right there is easily well over twelve hundred dollars. So it'll be pretty impossible for you to get your hands on on that card unless if you got it in like a collection or something in which case hey i mean there you go <laughs> um so is it truly worth it i mean i mean i mean if you're if you're opening up the packs for the nostalgia then i say yeah i say 100 percent go for it but as of right now we don't know all all the cards that are being put in in the sets so once, um, so, <clears throat> so once the full set list for both sets have been revealed, then I will be doing a full, a full in-depth review of both sets and I'll be, and I'll truly give, give you guys my thoughts on, on, on both sets. But for, but, for, but, but for right now, for right now, I think, uh, I think, and especially for uh, for us, for for players in the in the TCG, I think it, it, I think if you're wanting to open up these boxes just to get your hands on the just to get your hands on the alternate arts, I would just wait until those cards get printed in the get print. Whoa, whoa, um, get printed in the in the TCG because honestly. No matter how you look at it, alternate art versions of certain cards are going to be well worth grading. 100%. Blue Eyes, Dark Magician, literally those cards are going to be worth grading. Alternate art, hands down. No doubt about it. So, again, so again, my thoughts, they're, they're, they're pretty decent sets, but we'll just have, have to wait and see. But, but with that being said, let me know down in the comments below your thoughts. Your thoughts on both the Pride and Unity sets. And will you guys be getting your hands on these sets yourselves? Let me know down in the comments below. And that will do it for this week's episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. If you guys are new to the channel and you guys want more premium... No. You guys want more, <laughs> more episodes of Yu-Gi-Oh!'s Biggest Issue... Make sure, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, turn on the turn on the notification bell, and follow me on all of my social media. My ads will be in the description below, as will the info to my fan mail. It will also be in the description as well. And on that, this is your boy Nash, signing out.